It's Foster on the inside. Rasmussen, the championship leader on the outside. Siegel, Gold, who fought for the win yesterday in row two. We are green. Race two in Detroit is go. Louis Foster in that same position, leading the way into turn three. Christian Rasmussen trying to go the long way around the outside. So far clean. Where'd they go? The two up front might have made contact, and Nolan Siegel is in front. Foster falls back to second, and then the front wing is gone by Ernie Francis Jr. He made contact. Louis Foster having trouble making that apex in turn three, pushing Christman, Christian Rasmussen wide. Nolan Siegel, there's still two by two through these concrete canyons. That's a nom Ahmed in that white car in the inside going side by side with the green and white car of Toby Sowery, and I think they made it through. Christian Here's Rasmussen. a move inside for Rasmussen, trying to overtake Foster. They make side-by-side -side contact. Rasmussen gets the spot. McElroy is coming now. They came together yesterday. These are Andretti teammates back there fighting for third. Foster stays in front for that third position. And that's Matteo Nanini coming in for a new front wing, a uh, new right front tire. Oh, we got contact. Jacob Abel. Reese Gold. And Reese Gold. And Abel prevails in this one. And Reese Gold is going the wrong way. Abel in the red and white Abel construction car. Jagger Jones will get by Reese Gold. They were both on the podium. They finished 1-2 yesterday. Right now they are 13th and 14th. There's a big wiggle there. Jagger Jones by Jones. Turn seven. This is a late move. Jacob Abel gets into the side with his right front. That's Matteo Nanini coming in for a new front wing, a uh, new right front tire. Oh, we got contact. Jacob Abel. Reese Gold. And Reese Gold, and Abel prevails in this one. And Reese Gold is going the wrong way. Abel in the red and white Abel construction car. Jagger Jones will get by Reese Gold. They were both on the podium. They finished 1-2 yesterday. Right now they are 13th and 14th. There's a big wiggle there. Jagger Jones by Jones. Turn seven. This is a late move. Jacob Abel gets into the side with his right front. McElray, Foster, third and fourth right now. Up ahead, you saw the black car of Christian Rasmussen. Nolan Siegel up by over a second or so. And now Jagger Jones has damage. That's big contact in the wall. That's at turn two leading on to Jefferson Avenue. He stopped. We're going to have to go full course yellow here. Ernie Francis might be the biggest beneficiary of this because he is still on the lead lap. So this is turn one into turn two. Does he hit that inside wall? Nope. The car just takes off. He corrects it, and that puts the right front in the wall. That right rear slid. At that point, you're either going to hit with the right rear or the right front. So first caution of the day, one third of the way into this second half of the doubleheader. Back on to Jefferson Avenue with Siegel, Rasmussen, Foster, McElray, Kaminsky in the top five. Here we go again from Detroit. Big run down into turn three in the hairpin. Who has the draft? Who's gonna make a dive? Foster thinking about it. Rasmussen looking to the outside. Nolan Can he Siegel. hang on to it? No, oh. Siegel stays in front. That was a great job. Nolan Siegel not as late on the brakes as he might have needed to be, but able to get the mid-corner speed, keep the position on Christian Rasmussen, hold on to that lead through turns two, three, and four. And Ahmed's got a little bit of a run, is going to take a look and try to go around the outside. He is nosed in front. Can he make it stick around? Oh, they're going to touch a little bit as he tries to find the room. Abel is going to sweep back. And then behind, we've got two cars around. It's Christian Bogle and it's Rasmus Lynn. Bogle is going to lose significant time to get it turned around. Lind is going to continue. Well, that, that move by Ahmed was on the sketchy side. He's not clear of Jacob Abel, I would say, here. And he tries to turn into the corner or get in front. I'm not sure exactly what that move was. I think the stewards will look at it. 
And I'm not sure if there was contact between Christian Bogle and Rasmus Lind, or if Rasmus Lind just spun and no, caught. There, there was. was. So Bogle looked to the outside. I was watching the second incident. <laughs> looked to the outside, the came to the inside, really couldn't get it stopped. And the right front of Bogle hit uh, kind of the left rear of Lind there in that circumstance. He is nosed in front, will try to hold on to the outside. Abel will do what he can to make him go the long way around, and Jacob Abel maintains that position. Reese Gold, yesterday's winner we see in the background in that yellow and black ticket clinic car. Here's Ahmed trying again. One more time around the outside. Nose is right in front and is not going to be able to hang on. And James Rowe and Ernie Francis are both going to come through. And Abel also swings wide. So multiple changes there. Rowe has moved up to seventh. Now Gold. Passed by Nanini with a late move into turn four. Chucks it up the inside. James Rowe and Ernie Francis Jr. say thank you very much. We'll take those two spots and go on down the road. Oh, and into the wall we see is that Kiffin Simpson, who was already a few laps down. And this brings up a full course yellow. That is not what Nolan Siegel wanted to see. He, I think he might have even moved the concrete barrier there. There's a definitely kink from that contact. That's not, not ideal. We'll get a replay in the background. It'll be in the far side of the shot, just misses the corner ends up in the wall. Nolan Siegel had pulled out to a couple second gap over Christian Rasmussen. That'll be a race to have to sustain the pressure of another restart. He's got two more laps to go. Restart, Siegel, Rasmussen, Foster, McElroy, Kaminsky, down Jefferson Avenue, headed towards turn three. This is almost three quarters of a mile. Decent. 160 plus miles per hour. Who's gonna get the jump into the hairpin. Decent jump for Nolan Siegel. Louis Foster looking to try and find a way past Christian Rasmussen. Hunter McElroy there as well. Two wide, Colin Kaminsky trying to go the long way and I think he's gonna lose a spot or two. Daniel Frost gets a spot. James Rowe gets a spot as well. So Frost into the top five. Ernie Francis gets another position. It all went wrong for Kaminsky. Trying to maintain his top five position. He's falling back and he's right in front of his teammate Jacob Abel right now. Rasmussen is still within striking distance though. About one to two car lengths is the difference. On board, Christian Rasmussen looking up ahead to the race lead and the win. Two corners to go in Detroit. This is where it went awry yesterday. Siegel up the hill, turn nine, one more corner to go. He'll graduate high school this week and he'll do it as an Indy next winner. Nolan Siegel has won at Detroit. What yeah. a great bounce back for <laughs> Nolan Siegel. Oh, man, guys, that was absolutely dominant. What a way to do it. Thank you. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.